So I have read online here recently that if you buy special Energizer lithium batteries, which I have a, a package here that I've purchased on Amazon, which I will show you once I get this box open. So these batteries contain lithium, which if I read correctly, is very explosive when exposed to water. So what the plan is, there's a special way you can cut the batteries where you make a little slit around the circumference. And then once you do so, you can pull the cap off, pull out the rolled up layers of lithium, fold them up and put them in water and you will have quite the reaction. So that is the plan. So let me get some gloves, some safety goggles, and let's open this battery. So mission success. The casing of the battery proved to be much more tough than I expected, but that is probably for good reason. So there's the battery with the cap off. And once you have the cap off, you can slide out the insides, which is a roll of paper. And then you have the lithium. And just being exposed to air, this is already getting pretty warm. All right, here we go. So here is the lithium. And now from what I've read, if I fold this up and place it in water, we will get an explosive reaction. So we're gonna go outside and give that a shot. So here we have the bowl of water that I'm going to place the lithium in. So let me fold it up first. Supposedly it has to be folded. The smell is quite pungent, and I'm pretty certain these fumes are highly toxic. Once again, I do not recommend trying this yourself. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna place it in the water and back away quickly. So far that has been quite the dud. Yeah, not much is happening there. Maybe it takes a little bit of time. Well, that folks is why you do not believe everything you see or read on the internet. Because all I have now is a bowl of toxic goop. I'm very disappointed. Well, maybe not. I think I put the wrong piece of metal in there. I think this is the actual lithium. So let's give this one more shot. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Well, not quite explosive, but we definitely have a reaction. Oh, okay, it's getting a little hotter. <laughs> oh, it broke my bowl. That definitely took some heat. I think we're gonna do this again, but next time fold the layers much tighter. Try number two, ready to go. And this time I have made the lithium a very dense ball. So we'll see if it reacts faster this way or when the coals were less tight. Let's go. Oh, I missed the bucket. Okay, there we go. Not much is happening. So apparently it reacts better when there's more surface area to touch the water. So we're gonna do the last one almost completely unrolled. Yeah, that's just bubbling around like a piece of sodium. Of the battery being disassembled, let me prop the camera up here. So this actually pulls out of the battery. And then you can unroll the layers. So this black layer, it must be a part of a cathode or anode. This doesn't do anything. However, this is the lithium. So this time we're just gonna barely fold it over and we're gonna dunk it in the water. 
I think that will greatly speed up the reaction because there's much more surface area. This one might quite, actually quite be dangerous. I'm gonna throw it in and try to dunk it. Oh, but I missed the bucket. It's pretty windy. Here we go. Still not that impressive. It just dissolved. I'm not impressed. <laughs> 